I know what you're thinking. These texts look like they've come from the South African ripoff of House of Cards, Intlu, Yamakati. But you're wrong. They're real, and they're just a few of the death threats currently being sent to Makosi Koza. I revel in being a rebel. No, 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 not that guy. The doctor. No, 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 guys, it's not that kind of show. Dr. Makosi Koza, as in the ANC Member of Parliament. I'm a very expressive person, and I'm very proud of that. Who is she? And why is she under attack? Let's get away. Guys, this is very important for all of you. If you have pens, take your pens and, and write notes. Dr. Koza is the latest ANC MP who's gone rogue. <laughs> Dr. Makosi Koza. Dr. Makosi Koza. Dr. Makosi Koza. I think we need to put our country first. She says the Gupta Leaks emails make her feel like bodies are being unearthed in her backyard. And call the scandal, quote, the biggest volcanic eruption South Africa has ever seen. She probably feels like this right now. Oh, I'm just a little uncomfortable about being on a rickety bridge over a boiling lake of lava. So naturally, government's reaction has been one of shock, outrage, and horror. Nobody has told me how these emails were obtained, whether they have not been uh, fabricated. I, myself, have done no wrong. Dr. Koza is a highly educated woman from KZN and has some pretty impressive struggle credentials. I became associated with the ANC when I was 12 years old. She got a lot of praise last year for roasting Faith Mutambi at the SABC inquiry. The truth! They have put the blame of SABC governance failure squarely on you. The governance failure of the SABC shouldn't be attributed to the shareholder. It doesn't look like Dr. Koza has much faith Mutambi is doing her job properly. <laughs> and people were also impressed with how she chaired. The epic search to find South Africa's new public protector. It is you making your case to South Africans. As you know, this is also live. Your 10 minutes starts now. I've been a judge for the last 21 years. I was the youngest female full professor in the country. I'm going to say yes. Tell me why you come on the show. I believe that I'm armed with passion, integrity, commitment, loyalty, courage and resilience. It took them 19 hours. This process, I'm glad, is going to be over soon. Then I will, I will have my normal life back. <laughs> but in the end, they chose Musiswa Mandashe. I mean, Mkwebane. <laughs> Sorry, it's a, it's a typo. I'm a person of prestige and influence, a believer in Christ. You've got the full package. You have four yeses. But with the ANC's elective conference looming, Dr. Koz has become a target in a vast and intricate plot where rival factions battle it out for the throne. Ring a bell? Remember that red wedding scene, guys? <laughs> The country is waking up to a news of a cabinet reshuffle that has been announced by President Jacob Zuma. I've decided to make changes. The president has fired Finance Minister Pravin Godan and Kabi Sijonas has also been axed. Zuma's named a total of 10 new ministers and deputy ministers. It was pretty brutal. Like pretty much everyone who got fired actually did their job. The opposition parties want to get rid of Zuma with a vote of no confidence in parliament set for August 8th. I wonder where I've seen that before. The motion of no confidence. 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 The vote of no confidence. Vote of no confidence. The thing is, this time, they want it to be done with a secret ballot so that ANC members like Dr. Koza can vote with their conscience. I have written to the speaker requesting to ensure that the vote is a secret. I am voting for the constitution of the republic. And that... But the ANC of Zuma doesn't like revolutionaries anymore. Members of the ANC have got no right to represent their jackets in parliament. They are suicide bombers. That is like suicide bombing. It's political suicide. She's not acting in the interest of the party. It's totally ill-disciplined. Ill-disciplined to the superlative degree. Collapse of discipline. Ill-disciplined. Extreme ill-discipline. I'm actually being charged for extreme ill-discipline. You can go through all those 20,000 whatever Emails, you will not find Makosi Koza's name. But in all seriousness, guys, the threats that she's been receiving are not cool. A senior parliamentarian told the newspaper that she and her children are in danger. The intimidation is coming from all angles. We are threatened, we are being told we are going to be killed, 
We are going to have our houses bent down. The ANC Youth League's Etiquini region distributed on social media her address in Hillcrest, called on its members to picket uh, outside the house where this uh, single mother lives with her children. Now today they didn't send their threats to me, they are sending it to my daughter. Oh. The reality is that if we are fearful, there's very little you are going to achieve in this life because each time you will be intimidated and you will stop pursuing your real goal. So Matamele Dlamini got bodyguards for her kids. Ngozazana Dlamini Zuma got an entire motorcade. So what about Dr. Koza? I'm left with 19 days and what is quite shocking is the fact that the police have had this information for a very long time, but it only took less than two hours for Daily Maverick to find out, to trace with the source of that of that call. We asked policing and security expert Aldred de Klerk to explain to us exactly what's going on here. I know that police are often tied up in paperwork, they have hoops to jump through. On the other hand, that time lag seems unacceptable just on the face of it. Unfortunately, what we've seen post-94, often at a local government level, we've seen before every local government election, there seems to be, have been a willingness to remove others if they are deemed to stand in your way, but it really hasn't been at a national level. This trend where we're starting to see this rear its head is worrisome. Finally, Parliament said that it would be providing security to her after more than four months of death threats. In case I do not make it on the 8th August 2017, Mr. President, you are haunting the South African nation. Please, Mr. President, step down and respect those who elected you. Since Zuma took power, about 400 political murders have happened on his watch. Is democracy itself going to be the next casualty? If you enjoyed this video, be sure to subscribe to our channel and follow us at Politically Aware. Until next time, stay woke, stay aware.